Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. We've got the new DJI Agris T25 with us today. We're going to show you how to do setup with an N-Trip network, as well as area mapping, and then we're going to follow it up with some spraying. So let me get it unfolded and we'll get right to it. So our first step for setting up the Agris T25 for mapping and spraying is we need to unfold the arms and lock in the cam locks. Make sure that you unfold the spraying nozzle arms first and the rear arms second. Next, walk around the drone, unfolding the propellers before flight. After the props are unfolded, we can install our battery. Push the battery down to make sure that it's locked in securely. So now that we have the Agris T25 unfolded and the battery installed, let's go through our safety parameters and set up the N-Trip network. In the top right, you'll find the settings menu, then go down to RTK. Turn on RTK orientation as well as RTK positioning. Use the drop down window to go to custom network RTK. Scroll down to see that the custom network RTK status is showing corrections. So we have our drone connected with an N-Trip RTK network. Now we're going to do an area map so we can get an HD view of everything we're going to be spraying. After you've created your mapping task, save it in case you ever wanted to go back to it later. And as you can see in yellow, our mapping mission has been saved successfully. Next, the mission will be uploaded from the controller over to the Agris T25. After doing your pre-task auto check, slide the status bar to execute. You will get a countdown and then the aircraft will begin its mission. Now we have a small area to map here, so this task will only take a minute. From the home point, the drone will move to the start point, and then once it's done, go to the end point, which then we will bring it home in manual mode. As the area is scanned in HD, you'll see it update on your remote controller. You also have a progress window in the top right of your controller. After the mapping mission is complete, Fly the drone back to your home point manually. This is just a good rule of thumb so that you have control over the aircraft. Aircraft returning to home. So now that we have that real detailed HD map of the area we want to spray, we're going to continue with the spraying mission. Check your pre-task auto check again and slide to execute. Aircraft preparing to take off. Stand back at a safe distance. Start task. Take off. Now as the drone's flying, you can see in the top right that we have 4.1 gallons on board. We have 34 positioning satellites for our RTK. Our signal from the remote controller to the drone is full and we have 99% battery left. As you're spraying, you'll see the payload decrease. The drone will continue until its endpoint, announce that the mission is complete, and then attempt to return home. However, we're going to fly it back manually once again. Returning to home. 
As you can see here, we spray 0.25 acres and use 0.8 gallons. The FPV camera will face downward in order to show you how close you are to the ground. Thanks for joining us today for a flight demo with the Agris T25. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments. Also be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Matt, happy flying.